My name is Jack Schaefer. I'm the writer, director, producer of Timer, which is a romantic comedy with a sci fi twist. It's about a device that counts down to the moment that you meet your soulmate. So, our heroine, her name is Una, she meets a man who she falls in love with, and his timer is set to meet his soulmate in four months. So, it's like, live for the moment, follow the timer, what to do? My brother was getting married, and my mom had one of those countdown to the big day clocks. It's one of those things you program in the day of the wedding, and it like tells you you have 72 days to get your caterer together. And I thought, it would be great if I could have one of these little devices for my love life. Like, I don't need my soulmate in my life right now, but if I could just know he was on his way, then I could, like, be a pleasant bridesmaid. And so, um, I wrote the script from that and then realized knowing when you would find your true love would be a horrible thing. So, yeah, the initial concept was there, but then, like, what the world looked like, and is it in the future, and who's my main character, and do they end up together in the end, all of those things, you know, took about took at least a year to really get it into shape. The first time that I pitched the film um, was for, for potential investors and it was, a, it was a small group, just a handful of people. Um, and I wasn't winging it, but it, it felt like it with the, with the palpitations and the flop sweat and the whole thing was, was awful. It was after a meeting that we had had. It was, we had had a series of meetings and, and this one they had, they had read the script and we sort of gave them the hard sell again. And they had lots of questions and they were very serious and it was very intimidating. But then ultimately they said yes and we were like, we're gonna, we're gonna make a movie. The first day that we went to the set that was the timer store in the movie, um, was, yeah, it was, makes my heart beat fast just thinking about it. It was really a big deal because this was the first set that was entirely from my mind. It was my vision, it was my concept, and, and all of these wonderful, beautiful people had made it happen. So I'm not gonna cry thinking about it. It was such a big moment. It was a really, really big deal. In every phase, in writing, in pre-production, in, in production, and post, during distribution, yeah, you always hit walls and it's always, it's, there are always moments of deep agony. We had to make some compromises on locations. Our devices in the movie, they, they had some problems and we had to fix them with visual effects. You have to just find ways to have that service your story and service what you're doing. You have to work with your obstacles and your impediments. It was late at night. It was like 9 or 10 at night. I was in my apartment with um, my boyfriend who actually is the inspiration for Mikey in the film. We got the call and Jenna told us that we were in and we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and hoping and waiting and hoping and she said yes. And I got off the phone and Josh got out the champagne and we popped the cork and drank directly from the bottle and then we wrote Tribeca on the cork and I still have a little cork like sitting in my kitchen. To get into uh, a festival as renowned as Tribeca is, is it's everything. It just means that your movie has a, has a shot and a, and a good shot. You know, it's not, it's not gonna get swallowed up, that, you, that it is gonna have a life. It's a really long journey and it's not for the faint of heart. So it's been extraordinary and I would do it over again in a second, but I'm, I'm a little tired. <laughs>